Keep digging. Yes, yeah, Maya. I spoke to all the boys in Casa and, you know, the only person I wanted to get to know was Zach. So, you know, I stay true to myself, even if it left me vulnerable. So I have decided to stay. Woo! <gasps> Wow! We can have that conversation, but yeah, and I also appreciate you telling me his answer. Thank you. Leah's not going anywhere. Scott, please stand up. Oh my god, this one is going to rip my head because. Nervous. every emotion going through my head at the moment. Not every emotion. Whatever happened, what happened? Whatever happened, what happened? Scott! Yeah, since the first day, just been missing. One girl, and it's not changed. Maybe I've been hoodwinked. I've decided to stick with Catherine. Maybe Scott is loyal to her. Guys, Catherine's Catherine's done a madness. Do you think she would have remained loyal to you? Every thought has gone through my head over the last three days. <laughs> oh my she god! Ah, uh, guys, I messed up with it's this so one. Just so you know. Break off the Acting brand new, baby! So I'm joking. <laughs> what a dramatic music. Hey! Hey! Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on my soul. Lord have mercy. That was gonna be dramatic. I can't wait for you to Hey! Wow! Damn, it's angry. As you can see, he's around the fire pit the other day. We're under the wrong person. But fuck it, the game's the game. Okay. Still aimed at you, babe. What? Um, get our connection to your mind. Yeah, we just. Why are you whispering now? Why are you whispering? The kind of music's gonna change. Change the music. Change the music. Change the piano nonsense. There we go, baby. This is what I live for. Lord have mercy. Not Ella being the main cast of a villain. Didn't really expect it from her, but I guess she'll never mind. That's my turn. Honestly, hope it was worth it. Because we're done completely. In my eyes, you know I'm telling you so. Hey! Hey! Mine was my turn. Lord! Tomorrow night, the recon lane sends the villa into meltdown. So nothing actually happened? Huh? What do you mean by nothing about? Wait, like, did anything happen? You didn't do it for me! Yes, I did. How terrible it was! Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You did. You did. I wanted it back. What are you saying to me? I'm not being disloyal to you. It's done now. Uh, what do you not understand? Wow. Okay, Casa Amor, baby. Today was Casa Amor. My apologies. I really wanted to go live today and react, but I was at an event, so unfortunately, I just couldn't do so. But Casa Amor, let's go. Hey, guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is what? Daily and consistent content. Inject it, baby. Subscribe to the channel. It's one click. Consistent and persistent. Woo! Casa Amor. The whole episode was Casa Amor. They did it very early. They did it on a Wednesday. And let's get into this and let's break each one of these conversations down. Now, Katie returning to the villa didn't do anything for me. I wanted her, I wanted season two, Katie, some kind of unhinged emotional distress is what I was looking for when it comes to Katie coming into the villa as returning, seeing Zach, seeing Molly. It's a shock. It's a double shock. You're also alone. It's a triple shock. Yet she didn't give us as much. So I was disappointed in those reactions. It was a bit mellow for me. Molly coming back. It's funny seeing the other girls as they walk in and, you know, there's some reaction. Or there's like, oh my God, Molly's here. 
that's authentic and the reaction was funny to me. Whitney is a bad B. When I tell you the way this girl looks so gorgeous walking in, the makeup on the face, the eyelashes is what I was looking at, the way the hair is laid, the outfit, she has to, Whitney, it's Whitney for me. I'm sorry guys, it's Whitney for me. Do you understand? And I really want her to win with this man. I was calling him Elok, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Catherine was dating Elon, somehow got Elok. Somehow this is reminding me of Lord of the Rings. I don't understand. So I know his name is Locamp, apologies. So we'll see where things go between them two. In order for Whitney and Locam to even be in a high pole position, we need to explore more of Locam's character. And in order for that to happen, we need to get more footage of this man. So hopefully we do as these episodes proceed and continue on. Whew, Molly obviously being picked, that was obvious to see. I also feel like when it came to Montel, the way the man is lying through his teeth. He is lying through his teeth. Leah, again, is somebody who's very laid back. She's chilled, she's calm, she's relaxed. She's more of an overthinker in the mind. She's not gonna raise her voice. So she didn't say anything at the time, but of course, Tink was quite flustered and upset in the moment. So I'm, you know, she obviously spoke up and I'm glad that she did at this time. I'd be lying if I said that I didn't, that I expect, that I didn't expect it. I expected one of the Casa Amor girls to speak up and say something. So it, that, that predictableness was definitely there for me, which kind of took away from excitement. Um, but you know, she spoke up, uh, her, her Montel were going back and forth, which I initially did not expect. I thought the back and forth, the Wimbledon, as I say, the tennis match is what I say, the Phaedra vs Cynthia, is what I say, if you lot watch Rouse of Atlanta season seven reunion, that's what I'm kind of looking for. I'm looking for the Phaedra vs. Cynthia moment. And now Apollo is your storyline. No. And now he's gone. Oh yeah, so we're well, honey, I season. have plenty jobs. How many do you have? Honey, I have plenty jobs Because I'm not selling pipe well. things to little girls. Honey, it doesn't, excuse me? Excuse you. Contracted, yes, you may come true. Yeah, how many uh, law cases have you won? Uh, plenty, darling. Oh. You trying to talk about my Aquafina because you sitting on Captain Crunch. So hey, that's what it is. Coming from a head doctor, I guess she would know. <laughs> <laughs> where everybody is quiet you cannot hear, even hear a B absolute quiet and two people are perfectly going back and forth at each other I feel like we didn't get that this Casa Amor it's a disappointment we didn't get that this Casa Amor it is a disappointment you know it is what it is but we didn't really get that um, you know the, the back and forth shade let's just say um, but Having said that, when it came to Tink, I guess he just wanted to stay loyal to Leah. He didn't know where to go. It was a new relationship and that's what he did. And of course he's wrong for it. And then we see in the Tomorrow Night trailer that things are going to be absolutely mad for Montel and Leah. They're gonna have some kind of, kind of conversation, but I feel like Leah will get over it. Um, and I feel like they will obviously settle down. Catherine and Scott, okay, this is a major one. A lot of people say I'm biased towards Catherine as well. She brought back Ella, uh, evidently Scott proved everybody wrong, saying that, look, I am into this girl. I gathered everybody around. I had this conversation. And then Catherine goes off to Casa and is already kissing somebody else within the first day. She was wrong for doing so. And therefore, you know, look what's happened. The reason why I'm not that deep into it and think that Catherine is some villain is because Scott and Catherine were not closed off. They weren't in some heavy relationship. They haven't been together for that long. And you know, apparently Scott's been in there for a while. His presence, I keep forgetting. So maybe it's just me personally, but I just never thought their relationship was that deep prior to Casa. I just thought that he sat everybody down to just prove to everybody that my feelings are not fake and I do like this girl. So that's why I never was deep on it because the relationship was never that deep between these two prior to Casa. It's not like they, they were together from day one or week one or it was like a Whitney Meddy thing and Whitney's coming in with another, with another man and, and Whitney Meddy were really in love. It's not something like that. Granted, Catherine moved, moved, does move very quickly when somebody does show her that attention. That could be a default or it could be a plus. It can also be a plus in this particular environment because it can maintain your position in the villa, which is what Catherine is proving. However, I can see why people can see that she's wrong in the situation. I can see, you know, Scott's obviously hurt by it because he does have those feelings for her and he obviously does like her. He was just, not him, he went for the juggler. Scott is the one that I didn't expect it from. For him to now say, uh, you know, um, I guess everybody got the wrong, um, the wrong person. You know, my feelings were right, but yours weren't. Uh, <laughs> Catherine was just shocked. She, 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 Catherine got red. Scott read her, 
you know, she tried to come out with something. It didn't land, unfortunately, because she didn't expect it. She also didn't expect Scott to be their single. So we as an audience are assuming from what we're looking at that Scott isn't as into Catherine or showing it as much with body language and facial expressions and etc. So Catherine herself is returning to the main villa and saying her same thing, that she expected him to find somebody else. If Scott was so reassuring towards Catherine, she wouldn't expect that. I just don't think their relationship is that strong prior to Casa Amor for me to actually care. So when it was Tanya moving mad, I very much said that she was moving mad. Catherine and Scott are not that strong. Majority of these Casa Amor couples, when these couples prior to Casa Amor were not that strong. So it's only Tariq and Ella that everybody had eyes on. The rest of the couples could do what they wanted to do because they were all fairly new. So my anger or attachment towards Catherine and Scott and Catherine doing Scott wrong is going to be weak and not as passionate because these two were not that strong together. They really weren't. That's why I don't find it that deep. And if I'd Scott find somebody first and Catherine was single, I thought, okay, cool, that's great for Scott because I don't think it's that deep. I don't think it's that deep for both of them. And, you know, I think that Catherine, you know, probably would have found somebody when she came back or whatever. I honestly don't think it's that deep because their relationship was not that strong. However, I can see what people say on the Catherine side of coin that she is wrong, she advanced wrong, and that, you know, she was kissing this person way too quickly. Did she ever have feelings for Scott? Was she lying to him about her feelings for Scott? I can see why people are saying that, and I can see that it being, being valid, and I can see two different sides of the coin. Just my attachment to it isn't as strong of, you know, critiquing Catherine, because the relationship was not that strong. <laughs> Prior to, like, it just wasn't that deep. Um, but I can see Catherine being wrong, and I can accept that. I can see why people are saying that. Woo, Tariq and Ella. Tariq and Ella, it was a lot. Tariq and Ella was a lot, guys. It was very much a lot to watch when it came to these two. I do think that, you know, Ella did not expect that at all. Tariq's emotions, you can tell that he genuinely had feelings for this girl, and he's opened up to the point where the fact that he's opened up and there's a wound there now because you have not, you know, been there for me. The wound is now closed. Beloved, you are not going to now and open the wound again. It's it's done. It's The relationship has ended. And I hopefully it is ended. I don't want Tariq to be saying, oh, it's ended now on emotion because Shaq said the same thing and Shaq and Tanya got back together again. So I really hope that, you know, things they will have conversations and they will get back together again but evidently Tariq was really upset and angry Ella did not know what to say she was completely shocked by it she ended up being the main Casa Amor villain and Tariq ended up being the main Casa Amor victim I did not expect that in any way at all I think it was a great episode it was good TV however I'd be lying if I said that I'm missing there was still there was Guys, I don't want to say this, and you guys will probably disagree with me and say that I'm wrong, but there was this little je ne sais quoi, this little oomph that wasn't there for this Casa Amor. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, guys. This this oomph that just was missing. For me, personally, as a viewer, I, like, you know, it was, something was missing, and I think it's because the majority of these couples were weak. They were not strong together. So if weak things are being broken, we're not going to be as shocked, but if there's strong things being broken, we're going to be shocked. I think that probably is the reason. And, you know, Maya Jama, hats off to her. Fantastic host. Fantastic questions. She had to keep digging deep. Every single couple, she was digging deep. Asking questions. Oh, but what do you think about this? Oh, but, you know, what is PG? Oh, but what is your response? Because they, the contestants were not giving the responses that were needed. Maya had to go to the shed, grab the shovel, and start digging for the reactions, for the questions. And that is what a good host does when the contestants are not giving the right reactions. She didn't need to do that if they were giving the right, uh, right reactions. She had to dig for something because these contestants were not giving it. And I wanted it more from KD. Didn't get any of that, unfortunately. You know, the Catherine and Scott stuff, that was a good TV because it was a shock to me. I cannot lie to you. And then, of course, you know, Ella Tyreek. I just wanted that a little bit more, but they're probably sh I'm saving it for tomorrow. Things obviously go to a point where Ella is crying. I like that Ellen, Kath Ella, Catherine, and Whitney trio. They're obviously there for each other. And, you know, Whitney's right. You might get the hardened Tyreek now and you need to graft. But grafting for Tyreek when you've got Uzi now, do you know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, you have to pick one because it's annoying when these islanders come back with their Casamore partners, see the person they, you know, they're standing there and they want to go back to them and then there's a culling of these cats and more people. So we'll just see what happens, guys, but it is Tariq Ella Island, baby. And I get why Tariq is upset. They were closed off. Ella went to go find somebody else. But there were many times where Tariq decided to go and speak to girls. He literally said to Ella's face, I missed the game. So if you're saying that to me, 
Then I see you in a villa with six other people. I'm going to assume that you're going to pick somebody. I'm going to have a strong opinion based on your behavior. Just because it was closed recently, like doesn't negate the fact that I'm still going to have that opinion on you based on actions that you had prior to us closing this off. It's not rocket science. She thought he was going to recouple because of his behavior in the villa continuously. He's never been in a relationship. He told her he misses the game right after where she nearly got dumped. He then continued to know other girls and couldn't decide and kept telling her she had to sulk and watch it all. I understand why she made the choice that she did based on the behavior that has been shown, not the words. The behavior, the actions of Tariq were continuously trying to get to know X, Y, Z. So Katie trying to defend Ella, I liked that moment. I really did. That was good TV. And Katie saying that she can see both options and both sides. I agree. I can see both sides. Tariq is hurt and upset because he's standing there alone like an idiot. He didn't want to be that one standing there alone like an idiot. And Ella ended up bringing somebody back because she felt there was a genuine connection there with Uzi and the fact that they know each other anyways being on a photo shoot they have some kind of history together anyways so I can see both sides I'm quite split with opinions here so I really want you guys to comment down below what are your thoughts on this whole episode did you guys were you guys satisfied was there something missing for you thoughts on Tariq and Ella thoughts on Catherine and Scott and uh, you know even Ella I just feel like why are you whispering come with your chest you're at Casa speak up bro speak up I want you to speak up with your chest you know because I just felt like that's what I guess this is what you should do to be honest with you. But Scott and Catherine, whoo, Scott's feelings were definitely there, which I never denied. I just never thought that it was as strong for Catherine as opposed to other people in the villa based on his actions. But I can see why Catherine is in the wrong guys. I can see why people are saying that, that she was in a madness. You know, she was wrong with X, Y, Z. I can completely see that. Absolutely, guys. Loud and clear. I was hoodwinked, bamboozled. I can see it loud and clear. I just never thought their relationship was that strong prior to Casa, and it wasn't that strong. It wasn't that strong. Like, they were together for like a week and a bit. But then for Scott to round everybody up in front of Catherine and say, I'm into you, and then for Catherine now to go to Casa Amor and kiss them. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's a very interesting episode. Casa Amor was mad. But that je ne sais quoi was missing for me. I don't know what it was. Like, I feel like we needed a bit more back and forth. And Maya, you know, digging. I'm happy for Mitchell. He's got his girl Abby. They could even take the crown child. And um, because it's giving Danny Dyer and Jack from Love Island 2018. That's what the couple is giving me right now. And then, of course, Jess kept it chill and calm because what can she do? Sammy obviously brought Amber back. I feel like Amber doesn't fit in with this show because she just seems way too young. She, like, she is way too young. It doesn't flow for me. Um... It doesn't flow for me. It doesn't. And it, yeah, it doesn't. Molly and Zach are gonna to be together. Mitchell and Abby are gonna to be together. I see, I see these two in the finale already. And then, you know, if Ellen and Tariq can't come out together, I can see them in the finale. Um, or, you know, Whitney and, you know, um, Loken. Let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this. So subscribe to the channel guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Let me know your thoughts are on this Casamore recoupling. Was it great for you? Was it, you know, X, Y, Z? Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another review.